Hi guys, in my last video I have showed you how to boot your Linux kernel using Quemo. I also showed you that I have used two images, initrt image and root file system images to boot the Linux kernel. Both these images are required by Linux kernel. initrt is basically required as an initial RAM disk by the kernel as an initial file system to do it with the necessary operations and uh, uh, once the kernel boots successfully it then mounts the root file system the root file system it then goes and uh, checks for an init process in your slash bin directory and if it is found it executes the init process hence the creation of root file system image and init rd images are very important steps to boot your linux kernel successfully if the root file system image is not created properly you may have panics on booting the kernel so I will show you how you can create your init rd image and root file system image in this video creating root creating init rd image is really very simple you just have to run one command this is the command mkinitrimfs fno init rt dot img this is the command and once you will run this command it will create init rd dot img this init rd dot img basically contains the libraries some necessary binaries that the kernel looks for while booting and uh, I will show you the content of this initrd.img I have unpacked it already this is the this is how the unpacked initrd.img looks like so to unpack your initrd.img you can use this command zcat initrd.img pipe with cpio idmv once you will run this command it will unpack the init dot init rd dot img into this you can see these uh, i will show you the directories if you will see this bin directory contains a lot of utilities these utilities are required by the linux kernel while booting and the libraries 64 the library that is required by the Linux kernel what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to create root file system image I have used dt to create a disk image this is the dt command this one dot img this is the block size and then the count this count basically tells you what is going to be your size of this one dot img 51200 it means 51200 into 4096 bytes this is going to be the size of your disk image once you will run this command your disk will get created in my case i have created it so disk one dot img this is the disk one dot img once you create this disk one dot img what you have to do is you have to format your disk one dot img you have to format it with proper file system for Linux we are going to use ext4 proceed anyway so now your disk is formatted this disk now your root file system image is created but it is right now empty it doesn't contain any binaries or the proc or the sys or the root file system uh, uh, layout the root file system layout like in Ubuntu I can show you this is basically this is how the root file system looks like and uh, we are going to create a very minimal root file system for that what I'm going to do is just mount the created image on MNT only root can do that I will run it as sudo okay now it is mounted and you can see the disk one dot img our root file system right now is empty it doesn't contain any binaries any folder structure we are going to create a folder structure here i am going to simply copy the contents of uh, initrd dot img now let's test okay okay sorry test slash star I'm just going to copy simply the initrd-img folder structure here 
okay I need to again run it as root sudo yep now you can see this root file system image is created here I'm going to create three more extra directories in MNT one is for sys one is for proc and one is for dev creation of these three directories are important otherwise your kernel may panic complaining that it has not been able to found slash mnt slash dev on your root file system image so just let's create it so now these three directories are created another thing that i would need is in it right now we don't have an sbin in it here what happens is your what happens is that once your kernel boots it looks for an init process inside your root file system image so in this case if it doesn't found the init process like we, I have showed you there is no init process at present what will happen is that it will just panic complaining that there is no init image on the root file there is no init process uh, there is no init process on your uh, root file system image so I have created a very very simple init process this is just a shell script it basically does nothing it will just mount it we don't actually need these two lines here let's go disk i will just comment these two lines and uh, this is this it will just echo something like hello and it will launch the shell prompt that's it so i will copy this in it here as in as in it oops permission denied I need to be sudo yep that's it so at this point of time my root file system image is complete I will unmount my root file system yes so disk one dot img yes I have it here I have everything I can just boot it now okay this is disk one dot ng I'm going to use this one dot ng as my root file system okay let's put the system now It is booting now you can see this is the hello we the kernel just executed the init process that we copied it in slash has been this hello and it has launched a shell from that's all so creation creation of these two images are very important it is very important so guys please create these two images carefully because if it is not created properly your kernel may fail to boot that will be all for this video thanks